Thousands of jobs here in the UK are now hanging in the balance. Martha Fairley has the latest. Have you reached a deal? Have you reached a deal? Have you got Thomas Cook Group Chief Executive Dr Peter Fankhauser said nothing as he left after a day-long meeting with creditors and major shareholders. Nor did he have any comments for the hundreds of thousands of customers staying in resorts like this one in Turkey, whose relaxing holiday has turned into an anxious wait to find out what will happen to them. We're just getting no information. Even the hotel's trying to find out information for us and they're getting told just everything's fine. So everybody's holiday now is ruined, really. We're all wondering how we're going to get home, not enjoying our holidays like we should be. Well, they can't get in either. The uncertainty led to Thomas Cook customers being locked in at one Tunisian hotel last night as staff demanded extra money, fearing bills won't be paid by the firm. Gary and Claire Seal are home now, but were among those stopped from leaving. Some had had uh, bills put under their, their door, um, varying between £1,600 and £3,000. And uh, yeah, then the, the rep came. He didn't know anything. He was as perplexed as the rest of us, and uh, it was just started to be a bit of a, yeah, bit of a panic then. Across the world, customers are frustrated by the lack of information. Hopefully, we haven't got a problem going today, but it's just about coming home. With no representation has been to the hotel uh, to let us know what's happening. I'm travelling with two children. We're going to be out of our accommodation. I don't know where we're going to go. So that's the more important issue to me: is getting my little family home safe. It's really worrying. The government says the 150,000 British holidaymakers currently abroad won't be left stranded, but after a turbulent weekend, Thomas Cook will have to end the uncertainty soon. Martha Fairley, ITV News. Our well, business editor Joel Hills joins me now. Joel, when will we know for sure that it is all over for Thomas Cook? Well, uh, we know it hasn't been formally announced yet. It won't be to the early hours uh, for operational reasons. But mm. the talks that have been taking place between Thomas Cook, the banks, the bondholders, the shareholders who are interested, the, the main one, Foson, interested in taking the company on, have ended in failure. It has not been able to uh, reach agreement. Tomorrow the company will go into an administration. Thomas Cook had asked the government to underwrite £250 million of loan guarantees. The government wasn't happy on doing that. It saw, ultimately, Thomas because of being too much of a risk. Project Matterhorn, the plan to repatriate uh, all those uh, 150,000 uh, uh, holidaymakers, is underway. Uh, the six airlines that the government has ordered the Civil Aviation Authority to lease from some of the major airlines, among them EasyJet, uh, will swing now into operation. There will be a cost to the taxpayer. It's not yet clear uh, what will happen uh, to the shops tomorrow, but uh, ostensibly the expectation is from first thing tomorrow morning the company will cease operating. All right, Joel, thank you.